Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Oakley Sutro Light Sweep Sunglasses. But first, I'm letting today's video sponsor our own website, shadereviewstore.com, the absolute best place to buy designer sunglasses, just like these up to 80% off the original MSRP. Again, the website there is shadereviewstore.com. Check it out. So let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These frames don't have traditional sunglass dimensions because they don't have a standard bridge. So we're gonna measure the lens dimensions a little bit different. These have a lens height here of 58 millimeters and then the lens width here is going to be 132.6 millimeters with a arm length of 138 millimeters. Now as far as the exact coreway that I have on in today's video, these have Oakley's prism sapphire lenses and then their matte navy frames and I think that's a really cool combination but they do make these frames and a ton of other really cool and fun uh, color combinations with purple lenses or red lenses or just a simple black frame with a gray lens. Now as far as uh, the properties of this lens, uh, the sapphire prism lens here, it has a light transmission rate of 12% and it is a gray base color and then it's also a category 3 lens which is designed to be worn during very bright and harsh sunlight. Now this particular lens is non-polarized but they do sell these frames with polarized lenses as well. The lenses are made out of Oakley's for proprietary uh, polymer material, which is going to have very high impact resistance protection, which is extremely important for athletes and people who are involved in uh, sporting activities. You definitely want to have something with a high quality uh, nylon or plastic lens, and these are very high quality. And as far as the colors and the clarity of these prism lenses, everything is just really crisp and clear, and I do like these a lot very, very clear lenses, uh, and I have no complaints with them as far as that goes. Now, as far as the looks from the front go, we can see there aren't any gaudy logos or anything like that whatsoever on the front, which is actually surprising for Oakley, but we can see a little uh, prism logo kind of etched into the lens, which is kind of subtle. And then here, if we move down to the outside temples, we can see that raised Oakley logo there, which is found in both the left and the right hand uh, outside temple of the frames. Now, as far as the naming of these frames goes, uh, these are named after the very popular uh, Oakley the eye shade that was released in 19 83, and the sweep refers to the sweep that those original eye shades had. Uh, and if you put them side by side, you can definitely uh, kind of see the comparison between these two frames. And I really do like that Oakley kind of blended the modern uh, sutros with that classic eye shade style. Uh, definitely really interesting. Now, as far as the looks go, uh, personally, these aren't my exact favorite pair of frames. You know, I really do like uh, more, you know, kind of classy all over people styles where where these you know don't really fit the the look that I typically try to go for uh, but they are very very practical and they do have very good coverage from sun so here up top we can see there is a very small gap that lets sunlight in unprotected and then here on the side again there is a very small gap uh, not quite as good as a wraparound sunglasses would have but very very similar and they do offer a really interesting and very bold uh, styling to them and because they have these kind of massive shield like lenses they're going to offer a lot of safety uh, from you know rocks or debris if you're riding a motorcycle or something like that as well. Uh, they're actually going to add safety element to uh, the pair of sunglasses as well. If you're wearing something with a glass lens and you're on a dirt bike, uh, that is definitely not a good idea. Uh, these are kind of like goggles as far as the impact resistance that they have and uh, you're gonna have much better time wearing these frames. I'm not saying that I recommend them because I'm not sure they actually properly rated uh, for that, so I'm not definitely, definitely not recommending them, but they are a much better option than, again, something with an all-glass lens, uh, which is very important here. Uh, now, as far as the material, uh, these frames are made out of Oakley's O-Matter material, which is very strong, but does have a flex, so they're gonna bend out and kind of give a custom fit to the face. They're gonna fit people's uh, face with a much bigger head than mine. Oakley's O-Matter material is extremely strong, and for example, if I try my best to just break this right here, I'm gonna bend it a little bit, but basically I'm not going to be able to break it. Uh, very, very strong, and again, good for performance-based activities and sports. Uh, now, something that's really cool about this style is we have the O-matter here on the outside, but here on the inside, we have Oakley's unobtainium material, which actually gets stickier uh, the more you perspirate, and the nose rests are also made out of the same material, uh, so it really does help the sunglasses grip to the face uh, when you need them to grip to your face most, and I really do like that about them. Now, if we take a look here at 
the inner left temple of frames, you can see it does say assembled in USA. And then here in the inner left temple, we can say it does say Sutra right there. And then there's Oakley logos in the outside uh, temple tips as well. And then a little Easter egg here that is found in every pair of Oakley Sutra sunglasses. We can kind of see the little Sutra silhouette here, uh, which looks really cool there and kind of kind of fun. And uh, if you look at the frames, you really can't see that metal uh, bar there that is there for support of the whole uh, top uh, lens here. Uh, so it's definitely hidden, but here on the outside, you definitely can see it. And it's really nice to add the extra rigidity to the frames because I've, I've worn frames that didn't have that bar and they had a lot of flex to them where these don't have nearly as much flex as those frames. Now, as far as pricing goes, these frames are going to run you $194 directly on Oakley's website. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below directly to the website where they have a ton of other uh, really cool colorways available. Some with polarized lenses and some with non-polarized lenses. So definitely make sure to check these out on the website if you're interested in picking a pair of these frames uh, for yourself. Oh, and the last thing I did wanna mention, uh, these frames are definitely lightweight, coming in at only 31 grams. So you can wear these all day long without any discomfort, which is really, really nice as well. Well, let me know what you think about this uh, pair of frames in the comment section down below. Do you love these? Do you hate these? Uh, I'm kind of more in the middle. Uh, definitely not my personal you know, cup of tea. Not something I'd wear to a mall or you know something I'd wear to a, a restaurant, an outdoor restaurant. But definitely something that I would wear when riding my dirt bike or something like that. Uh, um, just really cool pair of frames. But yeah, let me know what you think about this pair of sunglasses in the comment section down below. Uh, do you love these? Do you hate these? Do you own a pair? And do you like these more than the original Oakley Sutra? I kind of do. I kind of do like that uh, kind of vintage 1980s styling that these frames still have. And it does look really interesting. But yeah, let me know what you think about them. And I'll make sure to respond to the comments that we get in the comment section down below. But that's all guys for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and, and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.